What's up guys, it's Josh Vanstorm, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Remember in the last episode, we became a Grey Warden, and we started the Battle of Ostagar. And here we are, going to take the Tower of Ishal. Before we go in, I'm going to do one thing for Alistair though. I'm going to give him a helmet, so... For my Tower Guard here, he doesn't really need that helmet. So I'm going to give it to Alistair instead. And there we go. I will just give him back his split mail, I suppose. I won't make him a heavy at this moment. Because he's going to have heavier armor later. But right now it's important for him to have more. To have a little more uh, willpower, a little more uh, stamina to do, to do things. Alright, let's head on in. To the Tower of Ishal. See all the dead bodies of everybody here. It's not a good thing. Let's head on in and see what we see what's among us. Oh no! Looks like we have some enemies that are coming in. Lots of enemies are coming in. Honestly. Ouch! Fire is bad. Fire is very, very bad. If you haven't gathered. <laughs> I actually need to change. I actually need to change one thing of uh, Alistair's tactics here. And that is, he needs to self health. Below 25, he needs to also use the most powerful health potus we have. I'll go ahead and use it. I'll go ahead and do the lesser one to get me back to full health. I'm gonna have to just run through this, aren't I? All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's activate Mighty Blow on the Hurlock here. <laughs> nice stab! Let's go, let's go for the Emissary right here. So let's go for a Pommel Strike. Knock it down. He doesn't run away from me. <laughs> that is. Then I'm gonna... No, I didn't want to activate that. Okay, with the palm strike is what I wanted to do. As you say. All right, take that emissary right there. Let's go loot the bodies. Venom, which I can't use because I don't have I don't have poison making. A little more money. A little more money. And that looks like everything right there. Because I'm a bit of an, a veteran in, right, in this game, you save after every single combat because you can die at any moment. <laughs> All right, let's, uh... Oh, looks like I missed two hurlocks that didn't loot. As you say. Now let's head through these metal doors here. The next set of them. I'm gonna go ahead and uh go after this guy right here. He's, he's, I mean, he's just down as well. I'm gonna go through this metal door here. Let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna do another pommel strike on this guy right here. And he is just running away. Uh, I was hoping to do like a cool kill animation on him. Elf fruit, which is really not that good. Yes. 
wooden chest, which I will loot, which gives me a silver bracelet, which is a gift, and a lesser health bonus, which is good. Take off. I have anybody who can actually unlock. Probably not. Nope, probably not. <laughs> which is a little upsetting. It means I can't get what's inside this chest. The problem when you don't when you don't have a uh, rogue with you. Rogues are handy to have around. They really are. I will take that. Anything else to loot here? Duck. Nope. Oh, didn't realize there was another hurrah. Okay. Well, let's give him, let's give him a little uh, give him a little mighty blow. There is death there. Very well. Death becomes him. I didn't mean to shut that door, but that's okay. <laughs> yes. Go ahead and take that. Go ahead and save. And on through this door. It will be done. A couple more genlocks in here. A number of them actually. Which is completely expected. Get to go, Adam, with my sword. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to get the kills on them, but whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not going to be upset that Alistar that Alistar killed them because Alist because I'm that kind of bro. Gonna loot this Genlock here, who didn't really have anything. It didn't seem. All right, well, let's level up. I get a level up, so I'm gonna actually um I'm gonna bump up my willpower a little bit first. Did I get more of these moves? Go ahead and give me uh, Shattering Blows, because Shattering Blows is very good. I get bonuses against like Golems and other constructs like that. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Alright, let's uh, save and head to the second floor. Darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the horde. There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. We try telling them they're in the wrong place. Right, because clearly this is all just a misunderstanding. We'll laugh about this later. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Taron Loghain will be waiting for the signal. What I'm actually going to do quickly here is I'm going to, uh, Kind of be a little unconventional here, and I'm, I want to make Alistair happy, and I, like, I want to make Alistair like me a little more. Time to give him a gift. Is that for me? Here's a little bonus really? there. Wow, I'm wow. It's basically like there are different things that you can get approval from your uh, from your party members, and the more approval they have, the better benefits they get with it. Let, let's uh. Head up through here and start dealing with some dark spawn. Oh, I got a couple of kills on that one. As you say. What else do we have around this corner here? Wooden crate quartz, which is just something I can sell later. I have this right here, like this very uh, lovely looking place. I wish I had, I wish I did, I do wish I had unlocked. That is one regret I do have. Let's play, let's play with the list a little bit. Because this is a kind of fun to play with. It. Like 
with the level one enemy is just fine. I mean, they're kind of the Zerg. They Zerg rush. So that music got very loud in my ear. <laughs> Alrighty. Getting to kill a lot of these guys. But this lovely battle music in the background. Didn't take that. No, oh, I didn't realize one was still alive. Didn't actually realize that at all. Oh, but now he's dead. <laughs> Which is fine. Alrighty. So, let us continue on our merry way. I'm gonna save again. Save game. Let's head through this next door. See where it leads. And more death logs. Obviously not great. <laughs> Take that. Oh, let's go ahead and loot everything I can. Very well. I'm not sure. Like, I wish I could really get those chests because there's usually a lot of good stuff in the chests. But obviously, it's an RPG. There's always good stuff in the chests. <laughs> Take that acid flask. I explored the entirety of this level, just about, just fine. Let's go ahead and save again. It said save often. It's a it's a good idea. <laughs> All right, let's uh, that's the third floor. Gate better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending on us. Alrighty, let's walk here where everything is probably going to kill us. What do we do now? It will be done. That leather armor, not great, but I'll be able to sell it or give it to somebody later. And here they come. Here come the enemies. Go ahead and use a mighty blow on you. <laughs> attack and defense. I'm actually not I'm actually not gonna do that until I get higher levels of it. Because I kind of like having defense and I like being able to hit, so <laughs> it all kind of makes sense in the end. Right, that guy. A weapon stand. What have we here? Ice arrows. I don't have anybody who actually uses arrows, because this guy the tower guard uses a crossbow and I'm pretty sure his fire yeah, his firebolts are out. <laughs> I don't expect him to be able to use anything else. I don't know. Whatever, I suppose it is. Yay. Let's go ahead and switch back to me. Save. And continue on. There's a lot of enemies in this area. To the surprise of no one. <laughs> Take on this alpha. I should be pretty decent at taking them on. 
Let's uh, we're gonna use mighty blow on him. No, actually, we're gonna use uh, we use pommel strike on him first. Very well. Now I'm gonna use mighty blow. Just do a little bit of solid damage. Huh? Obviously, that was helping out. This is good. He goes down as well. What did he have for me to loot? Health Lotus is an award and recruit shield, which is not going to be particularly useful for us at this moment. <laughs> now the dog's out. You know, who let the dogs out? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You, most of you guys are probably too young to remember that song. And you are lucky for that. <laughs> I am a little old, as I will sometimes say. Right, doggies! Let's save, because that was a big fight there. Let's continue on. i to take this again, lock here. As you say. Oh, okay, the chicken is just stuff to sell. At this middle door where all of the dark spawn are. I just this is the one that I thought this was the one, so I was wrong on that. <laughs> I hit him with the shield, I hit him with the sword and then I stabbed him, that kind of made me happy. Go ahead now, loot these chests. Because I actually think that my guys would be fine. Alistair's got this. <laughs> I'm more concerned about getting the loot and glory. Some more. Of course. There are going to be a lot of things I am going to have to sell. Because I'm starting to run out of inventory space. The cool thing that they do in this game, they don't factor it by weight. You get a certain number of items, so I get 70 items. And I kind of like it because it's not something you particularly see in a lot of uh, a lot of RPGs. With the way the loot system works like that. But I've always thought it's, I've always thought it's a very cool way to have a loot system. Now, it's not realistic because it means that you can legitimately carry seven suits of armor on you. <laughs> but I don't care. I enjoy the game for what it is. <laughs> I take all of that. It's heading through here now. We have more enemies. Yay. Let's go ahead and uh fight them. Alistair doing what Alistair does. As you say. Can't unlock the chest. Again, it's, it's upsetting when you can't unlock the chests. It will be done. Weapon stand, a maul, which is not really what I'm gonna be using, because I really I like my chan I like my chaz and flat blade a little bit more at this moment. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good two-handed weapon to have at early level, which is cool. All right, let's save. Good game. Go to the top floor. Ah, shit. Yeah. 
This is one of the hardest, if not the hardest, fight I ever had my, my first time through the game. Now again, I've not quite beaten it, but I've come very close. The ogre is very, very, very difficult. As you say. But that's not funny. He killed me so many times. I. It was awful. <laughs> That was always hands down the most difficult okay. fight I'd ever had. This is this is actually quite simple for me this time. But my first time, oh boy, was it it was bad. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, take all. I am gonna go ahead and uh, give Alistair a better uh, a better shield. He now gets the uh, average Aegis, which just gives him a little bit, which is a little bit better than what he already has. And I like the way that so. Yeah, okay, let's uh, wander around, see if we can find anything else to loot. Because you you don't get a chance to loot anything again here. Remember who likes the tribal next? I'll have to look that up at some point. Ah, that looks like everything. Let's let's light the beacon. Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not do as I command? Pull out! All of you, let's move!
And there it was, the Battle of Ostagar, and how Terran Legane betrayed everyone. Ah, your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. What happened to the Darkspawn? You were injured, and then Mother rescued you. Do you not remember? What happened to the army, to the king? The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. Uh, you, my friend, you mean Alistair? The suspicious, dim-witted one who was with you before, yes. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Does your mother want to see me? I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. My injury severe? Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. Well, that Alistair, is he all right? He is, as you are. I suppose it would be unkind to say he is being childish. Very unkind. Those were his friends. And you think they would encourage his blubbering? If so, they are not the sort of Grey Wardens the legends note. Thank you for helping me, Morrigan. I... You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. Some questions, if you don't mind. I do not mind. Take your time. Are we safe here? Where are the Darkspawn? We are safe, for the moment. Mother's magic keeps the Darkspawn away. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The Horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. Did your mother save us? I wonder at that myself. But she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. I happen to be of royal blood, you know. Yet now you are a surface dwarf. My king's ransom might be a long time coming. How did she rescue us exactly? She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. Survivors besides us? Only stragglers that are long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. Why? What is happening? Are you sure you want me to describe it? I wouldn't have asked if I didn't. I had a good view of the battlefield. It is a grisly scene. There are bodies everywhere, and Darkspawn swarm them, feeding, I think. They also look for survivors and drag them back down beneath the ground. I cannot say why. The survivors could be rescued? If you are willing to run into the midst of the Horde, perhaps. Why did Terran Loghain abandon the king? I do not know who this Loghain even is. Perhaps ask Mother of it. I think I've asked enough questions. I agree. Tis time you speak with Mother, then be on your way. And there we are. The Battle of Ostagar was a colossal defeat. I'm actually going to leave this video up here. We'll talk to uh, Flemeth in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you would like to join the team. Next episode, we will talk to Flemeth. Continue on and what this dark world has become. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day, guys.